Here it is, guys, the new Today Show set. Give me a little secret about the new set. Maybe I should have asked just one of them. No confusion here. Today on Final Countdown to reveal this brand new set Monday. How excited are you guys? I think it's great. It invigorates us. It's not, you know, it's a piece of what we're trying to do. There's great things we're trying to do with content and, and with new cast members and Carson. NBC's $500 million a year morning show juggernaut getting a reboot. Extra getting a sneak peek of the new Studio 1A, including the orange room where Carson Daly will run interactive social media with fans. How will they break him in? There is a hazing I know he's been process. Yeah, I was about to say, is there yeah, a... Uh, no, will he treat people with kid gloves, love and affection? Don't don't believe uh, it. He's, yeah. Gloves, he's, he's, whips, chains. Yeah. There's a little spanking involved, but we don't leave marks. Carson already part of the team. Wait, who, who needs their car brought around? No valet, but Daly does have his own secret to reveal. He's inked up. Carson, what you got to do, because none of them have tattoos, you're going to have to take them to a tattoo party. I'm so, going to. We're going we're gonna to actually reveal the new Today Show logo on Al's back. You'll see that soon. <laughs> All right, hot topics. Michael Douglas, Catherine Zeta-Jones. Possible will splitting up or any thoughts? No? Love them both. Anthony Weiner out of the race? Because of Savannah. Because of the interview, you know, yeah. he did with it. No. no. You know, I think it's, look, I think we all knew it was going to happen. You know, he was at 7 8% or 6% for the last several weeks of the race. And I think the media fell in love with his story more than people who were voting fell in love with his story. And it's all, it's over. Move on. And Spitz are gone as well. Yeah, well, you know, it's, uh, we're going to miss it. We're going to miss it. But I think it got difficult toward the end. It's, it's hard to be out there campaigning and knowing that you're very, very low in the polls. I think it's an interesting uh, it, it was an interesting experiment that we saw. We saw a couple of disgraced politicians try to make a political comeback, and in New York City, it didn't work. Uh, who's to say they won't try again or they're out of politics forever? When I interviewed him, he wouldn't say, wouldn't close the door on any future run, so maybe you haven't seen the last of him yet. We'll see. So I should you haul back in the game. Are you yeah. watching? Thoughts on it? It made me feel old, to be yeah. honest with you. No, it did, because I remember when his first show debuted. And it seems like, you know, wow, I can't believe it's been that long. But I like Arsenio, and I wish him well. And the best thing, hey, look, good is good. You know, it doesn't matter. I don't think it matters about age. If you're good, people are going to tune in. They're going to watch you. And uh, it's great to see him back. He's been great. He's been here. He was so excited about doing something. So we're really happy for him. Thank you for watching Extra on YouTube. And for 24-7 updates on celebrity news, subscribe to our channel here, like us on Facebook here, or follow us on Twitter here. And if you want your voice heard, leave a comment below. Where? Right there. <laughs>